Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Craig here from Wonderlust and Dwitt Co. I'm doing this video in conjunction with Tucana Teardrop Campers, made by Stonegate Industries. To be clear, once again, I'm not making any money from this. I'm just doing this for the love of education and teaching people and helping people along the way. Hopefully you'll get something out of it. So what we're going to talk about today is the inverter charger. I've got it on my diagram here as charger down here and inverter, but on my particular unit they're one of the same, so it's together. So what is an inverter? An inverter is an electronic device which in our case converts direct DC voltage and amps into alternating voltage and amps, which is what we term as AC. In our domestic appliances at home and such we have alternate current AC, 240 volts AC, you may have heard of that. So what the inverter does is it takes that 12 volts DC and turns it into a sinusoidal wave of 240 volts AC. In our Tucana teardrop camper, the unit is down here under the bed, up in the corner. It takes a considerable part of that. Why do we have an inverter charger? We have an inverter charger here so that we can use our domestic appliances that we have at home. We don't always have something which has access to 12 volts DC. So we might want to use the 240 volt system. So in the camper we have two points in, the, in here, one internal down here, and there's one out the back in the kitchen area. At those two points we can attach 240 volt devices. The kind of power items that you could use on, on that 240 volt system in the Tucana are things like chargers for phones, attaching laptop computers, powering your charger system for your, your cordless power drill. Items that don't consume a huge amount of power. While this unit is 1200 volt amps, that means we have really 800 watts available to us. So you just have to look at the item, the appliance that you might want to attach there and read what the wattage would be from that item. For instance, if you picked up the standard toaster, you would see that it would be about 1,200 watts. I wouldn't recommend attaching that to the AC outlet. It may work for a few seconds or a minute or two, but it'll definitely trip the reset button on your inverter and it will definitely deplete the power in your batteries significantly. In our case, the Victron unit is both an inverter and a charger. What does the charger do? The charger takes 240 volts AC and converts it back to a DC current and voltage to charge your batteries, much like the solar panels or the Anderson plug. With the Victron inverter charger, the two units are combined together. On your camper, that may be different. The beauty about the Victron inverter charger is I can use my mobile phone to control parameters within the inverter and charger. I can turn the inverter on, I can turn it off, I can turn the charger on and turn the charger off, all by using my phone. I don't have actually any dials or switches in here and at any given time I can also look at the display and see what kind of state my battery is in or what's happening with the charge. 
to do that, you simply download an app from Victron. It is called Victron Connect. You can see up there in the corner. That's it. So it's Victron Connect. You'd open that app and click on the item that you want to connect to. And then you would see what kind of state is in at the moment. You also are able to then go into different things. You can turn the unit off completely, turn the unit on, charge only, or inverter only. Something really important here is if you connect your camper to another source of 240 volts, like at an outlet at a caravan park or at home, 15 amps, don't forget. If you want to connect that to use your outlets in your camper, you must have this set to charge only. You could also have inverter on as well. In other words, have it all on, but that's ridiculous because then what you're doing is you're taking your 240 volts, converting it to 12 volts, then changing it to back up to 240 volts. So you're using part of the unit you don't really need to and it will heat the unit up very fast. So remember, you don't need the inverter on if you're connected to a, well, another term we use for it is shore power. Also remember that if you happen to have the inverter on at all, that there is a small switch just under the bed here that turns a fan on that'll provide circulated air around that unit and stop it from overheating. If you forget that, you will hear during the course of events over a period of time, a humming noise that starts getting louder and louder until that unit will trip. So just remember that if you've got your inverter on and it's working hard, it's gonna overload the system, especially if you don't have that fan on. So remember, turn that fan or off next time you're using it. So let's go through how to work this unit. Here is Victron Connect. Open it up. And here will be a list of your devices. On here we just have the Victron inverter charger. So if I click on that, it will connect. And right now you can see the status of your battery. Up here the little gear cog, settings cog in the right top hand corner. If you click on that, it is here that you can do certain things to it. You can put it on charge only, inverter only, or both functions on. It is advised that if you're connected to land power, shore power, say via the 240 system uh, from your house or from a caravan park, if you want to have the 240 operating within the camper, then you just put it on charge only. And that way, the 240 coming from the power socket will go directly into the um, two outlets in your camper. You see the little green light there in the mode? Now if we go back to that front page, you will see shortly, bang, it's come on. You can see here that coming in on the AC in line, we've got 20 watts coming in. It's telling me right now that the battery is actually in float mode, which means it's fully charged. Down here will tell you how it's charging. So you'll get like a, a full charge mode a top up and a, a float mode. So all the things that you need to know are right there. Details will give you a better breakdown of the AC in, AC out and the voltage. As mentioned, if you click on any of the other parameters here, it will do accordingly. So if you click on inverter, now inverter mode is on. You can see here 
no AC in because it's just using it to invert. And that's how that works and so on. So I'll go back to charge only. Another interesting thing here, you can see here your AC input one current limit. This is very handy to um, have this because sometimes you may not have a 15 uh, amp outlet that you can attach into and you can use an adapter that you can buy from Bunnings or a few other places I'll put a link below to where you can find them so that you can adapt your 15 amp outlet so it'll plug into a 10 amp normal socket if you do that right here on the screen now is where you want to adjust the amps coming in on that line so in other words it limits the amount of amps it'll take on that in line you can see here it can adjust it up to whichever ma uh, maximum limit you want or down when I'm on a 10 amp circuit I like to keep it at around about 8 amps so it doesn't overheat the line and cause issues and press OK you can also look in other parts here where it gives you a demo library settings file manager settings and help button another very useful thing about the Victron Connect app if you happen to have other devices which are Bluetooth enabled in other words can be found on Bluetooth you'll find them when you come to the screen here underneath the VE bus smart here there'll be another line and it'll be whatever else you've got in that system uh, as an example of that if we have a quick look at uh, demo library here you can see all the different types of Victron things you could have on this you might have a BMV battery monitors or another option you may have on your camper at a later later time is down here the smart shunt so all of those would pop up on that screen here so that if you wanted to connect to it you just simply press on whatever whichever one it is and it's going to connect to it and then give you its settings and parameters and what you can do to it. Okay, let's end this for now.